Hey there, everyone. Thor here. I thought I was going to talk about the whole state of play, but I'm just going to talk about Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill The Short Message. So let's just start off with Silent Hill 2. This is going to be quick. I'm kind of disappointed because I really thought we would get the release date. That tells me there's probably a lot of issues because Bloober is saying it's ready. I'm guessing they have to go back to the drawing board. I mean, they had to show something. Combat looked a little wonky, but I mean, Silent Hill's always had not the greatest combat, so I'm not too worried about that. It's really about the atmosphere and the feel, and you know, hopefully they add something to it. Because we all know the story. It's one of my favorite horror games of all time. Yeah, I don't really want them to like, super change it, but maybe I'm sure there's parts that can be altered, fixed, changed a bit, just to enhance it, put their own spin on it. You know, Because we already know what happens. I mean, like they added a little bit to the Dead Space remake, and I thought that was cool, especially in the new game plus. Give you a little bit extra and might go somewhere else you know maybe give us an, a new ending in Silent Hill 2 something like that that could be fun I really hope it's good Bloober usually does first person games so I'm really curious how this one goes since it's all third person we're supposed to see this year but I don't know not having a release date's not a great sign and we'll see what happens I'm sure we'll get an update sooner or later so the short message I'm gonna give my thoughts and opinions on it and then I'm gonna talk about spoilers I'll make sure to mention that before I dive into them a short message is a game that definitely deals with some some subject matter that you know might be tough for some people they give you like four warnings about subject matter and it is pretty heavy-handed it's not subtle like the other Silent Hills but it's also like an hour to two hour game so they don't have a lot of room to build it up i thought the music was fantastic the sound design was really really good when i was using my headphones i kind of wish i wasn't streaming because i played it twice just so i can really understand it and see if i missed anything which i did but i'll get into that in the spoilers and i don't know if a lot of other people found this thing that i found which is really cool but definitely play the game yourself or watch a playthrough before you listen to that part so yeah like i said uh silent hill the sound design atmosphere are like the two biggest things they've carried the franchise for a long time they brought a bunch of the people that worked on it overall i think it's in good hands this wasn't as good as pt but it's hard to catch lightning in a bottle like that i don't think everything will I don't think anything will ever be as impactful or have that long lasting effect. We're not going to get another PT. It's just not going to happen. The man who did it's just not doing it. It's, it's fine. He's going back to making not metal gear or whatever that new game he announced is today. But like the sound design was really, really good. Like I said, like um, I was running from the creature and, and just the things I heard and they really utilized the, playstation controller you could like hear people laughing through like you got different sound bits through the controller than what was happening in the game which was kind of creepy kind of cool this game wasn't really like scary or terrifying pretty much you had a lot of uh, exposition searching walking and you found clues and then you ran from the monster it, that was kind of the loop kind of remind you of like one of those steam horror games but you know it was definitely a better version it definitely had a backing behind it unlike you know a lot of those steam ones are made by like a person or two i i think this has been ready for a little while and i, I really think they wanted more work done on whatever else they're working on another silent hill game feeling they're going to do an anthology thing kind of like dark pictures does uh i'll get into more in my spoilers but they definitely open up the door especially we know that another silent hill is happening in japan this one was in germany they're gonna have stories all over the place and they kind of explain it in the game. Not everyone loves that. I, I looked at Reddit real quick and that's what a lot of people are torn on. So I can totally get if this, you know, especially the subject matter, if this, you know, was not something you like, something up your alley. I, I totally get that. I thought the story was fine. Nothing like groundbreaking. There's no like huge, huge twist. You know, it's pr pretty straightforward. There's some interesting notes though that give some tidbits and you know, it, it kind of seems like it's going a different way than it ends up going. They definitely try to play around with that. In the last chase scene, you you really go into the other world kind of fully, and I thought that looked pretty cool. I That chase was kind of annoying. Once you figure it out, it's not too bad. It took me only a couple tries. Um, you can see on my stream, I think I died like two or three times before I figured it out. And then it had like kind of a positive ending, a more positive ending than probably some of the other Silent Hills. It, it's good to have a Japanese developer doing it again and... I think they're going to try to make some new stories. I think we'll get some good ones. 
it's got to be better than Ascension. Ascension's just awful. It, you know, it was a really good Silent Hill experience. I, I mean, they really got away with it, like with Homecoming and we had games like that. So I think this is going more towards the roots and trying something new, trying to give a modern story. Like I said, it's just got themes of like, you know, bullying and a lot of high school things. So it might not catch with everyone, but I thought it was at least interesting and had a good time with it. I'd probably give it like a seven or so. I don't know. I'd have to really think about it. It's short, so it's more of just like a, t a technical task. Playable teaser, if you would. Now I'm going to get to the spoilers and talk about the story. So you play as Anita, who gets a text message from her friend Maya, who tells her to meet her at her studio in this apart apartment's like abandoned and everything looks like really trash. So you're surprised anyone lives there and then you find these newspaper clippings at the places like shut down and they've been trying to like demolish it for years. Kind of, kind of reminded me of, um, Evil Dead Rise a bit there. I think Evil Dead Rise came out last year, so I don't think that was an influence for it, but definitely kind of gave me similar vibes. The p gameplay is definitely like, they took some things from PT, other Silent Hills. There's a lot of references if you really look around, which I did in my second playthrough that I did offline. Constantly on your phone using as a flashlight. Text Maya and your other friend, and you slowly get tidbits. You find out that the character you were was jealous of their friendship, and the character you are has got like low self-esteem and kind of got people in school to bully Maya. And then it turns out that Maya, essentially she left a note for Amalia to find and Anita hit it. So she couldn't save Maya and she felt guilty for that. And a lot of it derives from her childhood. They jump into that for Anita. Her childhood traumatized her. The monster that chases you is her mom in this like cherry blossom zombie thing and there's a big reference to cherry blossoms how something beautiful it comes from things dying and that's kind of the whole analogy is you know maya created a bunch of beautiful stuff and her death you know brought something beautiful to the world her artwork her her dying in a need of figuring this out gets a need to get herself together and um, go to college with, with her friend Amalia and move on from her past trauma. And that's the whole story. So it does end on a positive note, which is kind of nice. Not all these games do. But um, I think there's a lot more to the Maya story. I mean, she seemed like she was happy, but she had journal entries. And you see what's bringing her down is she felt like she couldn't outdo her greatest pieces, even though everyone loved her art. She also had this boyfriend that I think he jumped off the building they said that he they took him away from her so it's either from the rumors or you know he was bullied and was one of the victims of the apartment thing i found was there's a pregnancy test that's positive in her trash in her art studio which i didn't see the first time so i think he i think he left or he died and she was pregnant and i think that's part of what made maya decide to do what she did so I think there's a little more to this story. I think some people will pick things up that I definitely missed, but I just wanted to, you know, talk about the story a bit. It, it is, you know, very heavy handed with the themes. There's no, nothing subtle. It's because, you know, the game's an hour long, an hour, I'll say an hour and a half, depending on how you can probably beat it in under an hour, to be honest. Really depends on how quick and if you know where you're going. The second time I played it, I was a lot quicker. Even though I did look around for stuff, there wasn't a lot of time to get this, a story or like a, a huge arc. It's just kind of like getting from point A to point B, telling a small story. And I think they're going to try this for the rest of the series. I, I think some of the games will be smaller experiences, like Dark Pictures was smaller than Until Dawn and The Quarry. So I, I think we'll have a lot more Silent Hill. Um, I think a lot of those guys are going to make some new cool stories. They're probably not all going to be perfect, but... I look forward to playing them, seeing what they have to offer. Let me know in the comments what you thought of Short Message and what you thought of Silent Hill 2 trailer and any games you're looking forward to. Remember to uh, leave a comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Throw out.